All right, well, hey, everybody. This is uh, Pastor Kyle from Cornerstone and uh, just hanging out with my friend Carl because he has an encouraging story to share with you. And uh, so, Carl, why don't you just introduce yourself and uh, we'll get to it. All right. My name is Carl Turnbull. Uh, recently joined Cornerstone Church Lively and... Uh, it's a pleasure to be there. It's been a good experience. And uh, as you guys all probably know, Pastor Kyle just married me and Sam. It's been uh, a whole month, maybe a little bit more. Mm. And that's going well. I also just survived the uh, little heart thing. I don't know if you shared that with the gang. A little but, bit. Uh, yeah. Probably some people that, uh, that don't know the story who uh, are watching this now. So um, yeah, we, we did, uh, we did your wedding just a little bit more than a month ago now. And yeah. it was, it was like right before the group limits moved from, it was 50 at the time and it ended up moving to five. Right. And we were kind of thinking that it was going to happen. So we kept checking every, you know, every day, has it changed? Has it changed? Uh, just, mm -hmm. you know, because we were going to have to uh, change the guest list, right? <laughs> yeah. We didn't know how many people were going to be allowed in the room. Yeah. But, so it uh, was a pretty small wedding. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but we were, you know, committed to doing it, you know, particularly after what had happened. And so yeah. why don't you fill people in on, uh, on what this heart thing was, this incident? Uh, well, we had asked you to marry us you agreed and then i don't know a week or so later i had a uh uh what do they call it layman's terms i guess is a heart attack but it was uh some kind of heart thing anyways i i, I had these my heart would speed up and it would stutter and do all kinds of weird stuff it's been doing it for years and uh so i had a uh a caesar seizure Mm -hmm. While I was sleeping one night and uh, woke Sam up and uh, scared the heck out of her. And she called 911 right away and they said to throw me on the floor, something solid. And she gave me uh, compressions for like nine minutes and then until the EMS got there. And then they gave me compressions for another nine minutes. I flatlined for 18 minutes. Wow. Which apparently is unheard of. After six minutes, the chances of coming out normal is like five percent so i i chalked that up as a miracle from god because he uh he had other plans i suppose i'm not really sure what they are yet and i wish i could recall uh i wish i had visions you know i wish i uh you would have talked to me face to face but i don't remember anything everybody asks me that but right right well, yeah, EMS showed up and they, they gave me the paddles like four times in a row and they were ready to give up. And Sam said, Sam's like, no way. I think she used other language, but she was pretty right. adamant. And, uh, I so can imagine me, Sam telling people what to do. Yeah, she, yeah. Was, uh, she was hysterical, apparently. And right. uh, so um, they gave me another uh, uh, shot with the paddles and uh, they... They uh, got a pulse and then rushed to the hospital and uh, uh, put me on uh, life support. And I was in a coma for, I think, 40 hours. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they were talking about unplugging me and Sam was like, that's not going to happen. And uh, yeah, Sam was the boss there. Yeah. <laughs> And so when they finally, uh, I came through after 40 hours and, and the first thing I remember, I could hear everybody gathering around me and, uh, and Sam asked, uh, pops, we call him. My mom's, my mom just got married too. Right. So Sam asked pops to, uh, pray for me. So everybody gathered around the circle and they laid hands on me and I, and I heard that's when I kind of snapped through when they were just planning when everybody was putting their hands on me and, uh, and I heard the whole prayer and that was, uh, and I, and I guess I woke up right after that mm. when I was just kind of not really kind of out of it still, but, uh, totally aware of what was going on. 
and that everybody had sort of prayed me back into uh, this life here. Mm. And, uh, here I am, and everything seems to be normal. My, my memory was a little bit uh, shaky there for a couple of weeks, but I feel pretty normal now and living a right. normal life. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. man. Well, we, yeah, absolutely. We had met on a Monday evening to talk about the wedding and it was Wednesday morning that I got a phone call saying that you had uh, experienced cardiac arrest and were in the ICU. And so I went to visit and uh, Sam was there along with other family members and you were in a coma. And it was oh. just like, honestly, I was, I was thinking to myself, I didn't say this out loud, but I was thinking to myself, I'm either doing this man's wedding or his funeral. And, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> and so we, you know, uh, we stood there and, and we prayed in faith and just so encouraged the whole time of, uh, you know, everybody's confidence in the healing power of God that awesome. uh, even in the midst of all of this, like Sam was talking to me about like, details for the wedding and, was, um, <laughs> yeah. and i was still in a coma yeah and uh and then you know i came back two days later i think it was two days later to visit again and you had woken up and we sat down and we had a conversation like there were no issues whatsoever and wow. it was it was unbelievable if i hadn't seen you two days earlier in a coma i wouldn't have believed it because just the difference between one day to the next was absolutely mm -hmm. just absolutely incredible. And we sat, we had a, you know, a, a, a clear uh, conversation for 20 minutes and you were asking about, you know, renting the hall at the church, <laughs> <laughs> you know, planning your workouts for the next <laughs> number yeah, of weeks. Right on. Yeah, right? we were pretty adamant about that and everyone's saying, why don't you postpone? And we're just like, <laughs> yeah why let's just do this man. yeah yeah so I'm, glad, I'm glad we moved ahead and uh so it was two days after we had originally met that that happened eh yeah wow yeah i realized it was that close yeah it was very close and so uh but you know we just wanted to have an opportunity to share your story because mm -hmm. you know clearly the hand of god was at work you had flatlined for, for 18 minutes and, uh, yeah. and you're alive and well and healthy and yeah, very, feeling great. Right. And, yeah. uh, you know, this was shortly before the COVID pandemic. I think it was early in January. And yeah. so, uh, you know, Sam was telling me that you were the talk of the hospital. Apparently. Yeah. I guess nobody thought I was going to wake up. And if I did, they, didn't know to what capacity, thought maybe I would be, you know, pretty messed up. And they were talking about, uh, you know, unplugging me and that. And, uh, and they were talking like they're saying, well, maybe we should ask uh, his mom. And Sam's like, no, I'm the one. I'm the boss here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they listened to her. Yeah. And uh, I woke up on my own and... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, everybody, all the nurses were quite shocked, apparently. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So, yeah, God is, uh, God is awesome. He's a God of miracles for sure. Carl, is there anything you'd want to tell somebody uh, who, who maybe needs some encouragement or, or maybe is in the middle of some sort of health crisis and, uh, and needs some faith? Um, yeah. I, uh, the only thing I could say is to uh, never give up and uh, that your life is in God's hands and he's got the last day. And uh, I listened to a good video this morning and, and uh, you know, they were asking, are you in trouble? Are you, are you surrounded by uh, chaos and all these different questions? And they, he kept coming back to the answer, which is prayer, and to just never stop praying. And, and uh, you know, God's right here by our side. I know sometimes we forget that because we can't see him with these eyes, but uh, he's right there, man. Him and his angels uh, just don't stop praying. That's, uh, you know, the Bible says pray without ceasing, and I keep trying to remind myself that constantly. 
Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for sharing your story, Carl. I'm sure okay. that it's encouraging somebody right now as uh, as uh, as people are in a position where they need some encouragement and maybe healing. So thanks for thanks for sharing your story and uh, very much looking forward to the moment that we are able to get together and uh, yeah. and have the reception for the wedding that happened. Yeah, the, the party that never was. Yeah, and uh, mm-hmm. you know, pull up the guitars and, uh, and yeah, man, get food together. Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna yeah. be fun. <laughs> It'll be good. It'll happen. All right, Carl. Yes, well, talk to you soon. Thanks, guys, for watching.